you do you, but don't say you're gonna be great unless you realize you have to become obsessed. Like you can't be the best at something in the world passively. Yo, what up bro? You're here with Aubrey Marcus and I. What's your name? Where are you from? Uh, my name is Alex Bradley. I'm from uh, Athens, Georgia. It's awesome, man. Uh, What's thanks going on? thanks for uh, calling. What can we answer for you? Um, so I am a aspiring chef. Um, I'm in culinary school right now. Um, I'm trying to make a side hustle sharpening knives. Um, where do you think the best How do you think the best way to approach this is? Well, what what do you mean like you want to get paid for uh, for sharpening knives? Yeah, uh, going around the, every restaurant, it seems like it's going to be the best uh, way to continually make money on the side. Um, I love this idea. I'm going to give you a tremendous piece of advice that too many people that are ideological and don't actually play in the game push against, but I believe in it the most. You should go sharpen knives for five restaurants for free. For free, okay. Like what? Like I spoke for free for the first thirteen. For for no, I actually got paid for the first one because that's how it also. For thirteen of the first fifteen times I ever spoke, I spoke for free, including paying for my flights. It's one thing to do free work. It's another thing to do free work with heavy strategy. When I do free work, I try to think of two things. How much exposure is it? Like Tyler will tell you, sitting right here. One of the only times I still do free work is if it's massive exposure. There are 49,000 people in the audience. I'm like, oh, it's a lot of exposure. You know, like, <laughs> like it's live on, yeah. you know, it's during the Super Bowl. Like, like I'll pay somebody to put me in a Super Bowl commercial, right? right. Like it, when, they, when, yeah. when I get exposure. Or, and that's where I'm at now, in the, for you, when you pick these five restaurants, let it be the biggest restaurants in your 30 mile radius. Let it be the kindest. Let it be somebody who has the biggest Instagram following and maybe like whether you, you know you never want to give with expectation but it's it's okay to ask you're like hey I'd love to sharpen your knives for free uh, and then like you get in there and the vibes are feeling good maybe you're like hey listen like I hope you enjoyed it like wouldn't mind to take a picture for my Instagram which then makes them say oh we'll put you on our Instagram like you can be thoughtful and do it the right way but if nothing else if you do it for free for five people you've established that you do it word of mouth is a remarkably fascinating thing Sharpen the fuck out of those knives too. Oh, like yeah. kill it. That's, like kill it. Make sure you're the best fucking knife sharpener there is. Great point by Aubrey. The amount of people that have gotten into my inner circle have sat right out there. They're now on the cusp, but then aren't here nine months later because they weren't good at their craft or they didn't squeeze the fuck out of their opportunity. That happens too, and I think sharpening the fuck out of those knives really matters. Look, bro, hard fucking work's appreciated everywhere. Hard work is that's the cost true. of, like, there's nobody that's ever been successful that made it that didn't put in hard work. There are people that inherited money. Like, there are people that have money that didn't work yeah. hard. There's nobody who's made it. They made it. The merit of them making it that didn't put in ridiculous hard work. That person does not exist. That yeah. person does not exist. Yeah, and but, do you think but, like a, but for whom matters too, right? Yeah. These things fucking matter. Yeah. You like you sharpening the fuck out of those knives for for a, uh, a restaurant owner who was just thrilled to get some knives, you know, sharpened for free, feels <laughs> yeah, yeah. no guilt or has no interest in co-signing <laughs> yeah. you, and it dies in that kitchen that night and nothing happens. Also, fucking sucks. Yeah. But I will say this: somebody's always watching. So let's play this out. You go and sharpen, the, this is why I fully believe in the system. You go to the number three restaurant, you sharpen the knives, the owner's a dick face, got nothing for you, doesn't say it to anybody, doesn't put you on Instagram, doesn't even thank you per- correctly, and you're out. But the sous chef was watching how hard you worked, and she in three years opens up the number one fucking spot, and now she, and that, do you understand? You Somebody's yeah. always watching. It's funny, like, you know, like, you look at, there's people out there, whether it's Kobe, it's definitely what I push, there's people out there saying, look, you do you, but don't say you're gonna be great unless you realize you have to become obsessed. Like, you can't be the best at something in the world passively. Yeah. You have to punt everything. Yeah. And that's, and that's, and if you don't want to be the best in the world or a top 100, that's amazing. And like, then you can canoe uh, in the afternoon and like go to a coffee shop and just chill. <laughs> But if you want it, like to me, it's just 
make your actions map your words. Yeah. You don't need to work on your craft 18 hours a day, but then also don't have the audacity to ever say you're gonna be great or all time. Uh-huh. I keep telling people Magic Johnson two hours before he took the bus at, as a kid. Like that's what his sisters always tell that story. Larry Bird like taking a billion shots in that crickety old like that. Like, yeah. you know, like again, and I'm gonna say it again because it's very real to me. Like when I garage sale as a hobby on a Saturday and wake up at 5.30 after fucking working super hard and this is supposed to be like rest and this and that. Like that, that four hours of garage selling and negotiating and seeing what's popping and like I'm working on my craft.